Daphne. I read about you in history class. But where's your wife, Linda? Right here, Lisa. Whenever we're in Springfield, we like to hang out in Apu's garden in the shade. We met him in India years ago during the Maharishi days. Back then, I was known as the fifth beatle. Sure you were, Apu. You know what, Lisa? Bob and Linda are vegetarians, too. In fact, Linda has her own line of vegetarian entrees. Apu, I'm sure the last thing we want to talk about is... We weren't satisfied with the other vegetarian meals on the market. You'd be surprised how often you'd find a big hunk of pork in them. Ew. Linda and I both feel strongly about animal rights. In fact, if you play Maybe I'm Amazed backwards, you'll hear a recipe for a really ripping lentil soup. When will all those fools learn that you can be perfectly healthy simply eating vegetables, fruits, grains, and cheese? Ooh, cheese. You don't eat cheese, Apu? No, I don't eat any food that comes from an animal. Oh, and you must think I'm a monster. Yes, indeed, I do think that. But I learned long ago, Lisa, to tolerate others rather than forcing my beliefs on them. You know, you can influence people without badgering them always. It's like Paul's song, Live and Let Live. Actually, it was live and let die. Well, whatever, whatever. It had a good rhythm. I guess I have been pretty hard on a lot of people. Especially my dad. Thanks, you guys. Lisa, before you go, would you like to hear a song? Wow, that'd be great. Okay, take it, Apu. I'm Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club man. I hope I will enjoy my show.